Hello everybody and welcome. Mm. Hi. Hello everybody and welcome. Book cover, your humble host. And today, ooh, today is going to be rather interesting. Because today we are going to be doing something a bit eh, different. Okay. So today we're going to be using a whole bunch of different ingredients to make something. I don't really know what it is, but something. It's basically a way of using what you got instead of having to go get a lot of stuff. That's if you can even find what you're trying to find. Because, <laughs> yeah, the stores are fucking empty right now, by the way. Um, if you don't know, this is 2020 and the coronavirus is in full swing here in America. Yay! Uh, we're not quarantined yet, but who the hell knows? So, <clears throat> all right. So what you're going to need, you're going to need skeddy noodles. But I just have pesto and I don't know why I have pesto, so I'm going to use it. Pesto. Some ragus or, you know, skeddy sauce of any type you want. Not sponsored, by the way. Some refried beans, again, any time you type you want. And some ground beef, if you can find it. If not, make your own ground beef, which is not that hard, actually. Just, you know, grind up uh, a roast, good. Freeze and then grind up a roast and you got ground beef. There you go. So there's that. Also, I have the, uh, uh, the water already started for the noodles. So, that started over there. And I've got the strainer in there for the noodles. I have my pan here and a pan there. This one is for the sauce. I know. I don't normally do... Uh, excuse me. I don't normally do a mixture, but I figured having one for a sauce, one for the sauce, then adding the sauce to the meat and then meat and sauce into the noodles might be a little weird. So I might actually add it to the noodles, then add the meat to the noodles afterwards. Don't really know, but we'll find out. So, first things first. Should we start with the meat or start with the sauce? Because the noodles are going to take a while. Uh, the sauce might take a while as well. Okay, so we're going to start with the meat, actually. Because the meat, we're going... Oh, wait, that's, there's another thing we're going to need. I forgot to mention it. Taco seasoning, which might give away exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, you're going to need some uh, a packet of taco seasoning. Follow the instructions on these things. Just just do it. Trust me. Anywho, I need a measuring spoon. Measuring spoon. One third cup. Right, that's a one third cup, not one fourth cup. Please say one third cup. Ah, ah two thirds cup. Which is actually just two one third cup. So, I think. Should be, yeah. Yeah, should be. I hope. But, fuck it. If I fuck it up, I fuck it up. Anyways, that's boiling away, doing its thing. Uh, we're going to start the meat. So, we need our meat. And, a good pair of scissors to open the top of the meat. I'm not using a knife anymore. Well, not for that. <laughs> so, ooh, hamburger meat. <sighs> I always, always cut it down the side so it's easier to get out. You gotta, in my opinion, you gotta do it so it's easier to get out, y'all. Make sure to clean your scissors off once they're done being bloody. Of course, scissors are never done being bloody. Now are they? Now, put this in here like that. Ooh, log of meat. Yum. Now, some people don't like log of meat. <laughs> I'll be right back. Like I said, some people don't like log of meat. I like log of meat. Log of meat is good. Alright. Bring it closer for a sec. Chop 
you up. This is nice and uh, defrosted, so it's actually going to be a lot quicker to, you know, do the things and the stuff and the stuff and the things and the things and the stuff, you know, all that shit. Woo! What are we? What are we? Oh, you hear it starting. Now, it'll be easier to chop up when it's more done. So let it do its thing. By the way, always salt your water. Put this on medium heat. Put this over top. Now, oops. Oof. Either way I put it, it's not good. Whatever. I'll leave it there for a second. Now, we're going to be starting with this. <laughs> which is our sauce. Which is needed because, you know, we're basically making spaghetti. Mm. This is super chunky mushroom because, you know, got to get that good shit in there. Ah, yeah. Now, presto. Now, presto, we're using pesto. Hmm. Tastes like Chef Boyardee. But, like I said, I don't know what this shit is. I have it, so I'm using it. It wasn't expensive, so. Why not? There's a lot more of it than I thought there was, though. Um... <laughs> Can't find any wooden spoon, so I'll use this plastic one. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. That actually looks better. Now, why is this going to take so long? Well, because you need to have it simmering before you add the refried beans. Yes, we're actually going to add the refried beans right to this. So, put this over there on the heat. Over there. Is it looks like this is very low on fat, which it's fine because some people don't like a lot of fat in there. But there's some. Now, another reason why I wanted to do the meat first is in case I actually needed to drain some of the fat out. Now, let's up the temperature since we're focusing on the meat right now. And yeah, I'm going to be stirring the uh, sauce every now and again over there. You might actually get to see that. If I bring it back just a wee bit. Yeah. And as you can tell, I'm using a gas stove, not a electric stove. That looks like shit. But trust me, it'll actually look good. See how it's breaking up a lot more with this? By the way, the reason I went silent is because I was reading the uh, taco seasoning mix instructions. Which is always a good thing to do. Always make sure you read your instructions, ladies and gentlemen. Because you don't know what's going to happen if you don't. That clicking was uh, me having the light on, lighter part on it. Of 
perfectly fine. Let's turn down, not let you burn. Not letting you burn would be a good idea. Turn you on low. I said simmer, not full. Come on, book. Do it, Papa. Ooh, that looks like it's not even, but barely on. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Nice. Thick sauce. It's going to get thicker, but... Mmm. It actually tastes really good. But, if you notice down here in this uh, pan, all of this fat, yeah, that's not good. Well, there goes that meat. I'll have to clean it up after I'm done cooking. Actually, I'm going to add the sauce to the meat first, and then the pasta. Now comes the part where I piss everybody off. You see all this fat? I'm gonna dump this down my sink. Which is going to piss everybody off. Because a lot of people are like, no killing! Shut the fuck up. My sink. Shut up. <laughs> but also, that's why I have the water running back there right now. So I can actually, uh, you know, run this and not clog up my sink and shit. Look, if you know it's going to cost us to see what are you doing it. Okay, Mr. Hanking, Mr. Hanking, shut the fuck up. No. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, kids. Okay. It's okay to be gay. Okay. <laughs> I love Mr. Hanking. Hanky was fun too. Hanky the Christmas poop. Yes, I'm weird. Shut the fuck up. Actually, don't shut up because I like y'all too much to tell you to shut up. <clears throat> Alright. So, we turn this off. Turn this back on. Turn it on low. Actually, basically, I think we might be done with this pan for now. I think I might need it to add the stuff to the stuff, but other than that, should be good. Now, as you can see over here, our pot's starting to bubble up a bit, which is good. I am entirely, completely incorrect. We're actually nowhere near done with that yet because I forgot we're adding taco seasoning. I remembered as soon as I tasted the meat and the meat was bland. So add your meat back into your thing with jig here. This is also why I'm not adding seasoning to that. Now, what you're going to need is, you know what, I'm going to be smart and use a measuring cup. This says two-thirds cup. Yeah. I'm just going to use this measuring cup that I have. It's a Pyrex measuring cup. Not sponsored, but Pyrex is amazing. Family would agree. Two thirds cups of water, which is not a lot of water at all. Seasoning. 
of your choice, I mind you. And not sponsored by anybody. If I was, that'd be awesome. But I'm not, so fuck them all. Nah, I don't care. I, I'm using El Paso. Do that, do that. I'm not gonna be. Go like this. Do a little stirry stir. Try to get everything off of all the edges. And oops, sorry, I threw it away. I need that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Stir in water and seasoning. Mix. Heat to boil. Reduce heat. Simmer uncovered. Stir it off even until thick. Use as taco filling. Refrigerate leftovers. So now, that's done. Bring this over here. Wash off your spatula because you just dropped it like a dumbass. Heat to boil. It says. Now this can go up a wee bit more. Stir just a bit. I just turn it backwards. I'll just turn it this way instead of this way. This way is the. It's really hard to tell with this one, isn't it? Anyways, stir, 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 stirring, 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 stirring. Make sure it doesn't burn to the bottom of the fire. Well, that sounded like my fucking roof was about to cave in. Other than that, I'm doing perfectly fine. Alrighty. Now, this shit's about to get real thick. Hold on one sec. We're about to add refried beans. By the way, I love refried beans, so... Heat to a boil. What does that say? Uh, heat to a boil, reduce heat, simmer, uncovered for four to four, three to four minutes. Reduce heat, but not on that. Make sure to stir this so it doesn't burn. Ooh. You know you have it on low, and it wasn't act active just a second ago. Whatever. Okay. Finishing <laughs> opening your refried bean can. By the way, that's literally what I'm doing right now. Just opening the refried bean can. Now you add your refried beans in. Perfect. Perfect shape of the can. And now you're going to see why you need it to be partially, you know, warm. Because the warmer it is, the more refried beans actually will meld into it. Like I said, it's going to make it thick. It's going to make it real thick. I think that's about as boiled as our water is going to get over there. And yes, I do understand this doesn't look that good right now. Nor do I actually have the slightest clue how this is going to turn out because I've never done this before. For simmer. So this might just turn out like shit and waste of material, waste of you know food and shit. Of course, I'm going to eat it, but. Ooh, you see how it's getting creamier now, though? That's what you're looking for right there. Now, add your pasta, how much ever you want. I'm out of a bunch of this shit. Because, you know, leftovers are good in the apocalypse. <laughs> Although I keep calling it an apocalypse, it's not really an apocalypse. 
not like those ads YouTube's are take YouTube take took away from all them peoples. Well, fucking course they would. I give it a nice, easy avenue to come out. It decides, yeah, fuck your avenue. I'm gonna go take a different way. Story of my fucking life, you know. Put you in there. Sure, you will put more. By the way, that bubbling sounds amazing. I have it half off the goddamn thing. Yeah, that's probably working a little bit better. Oh, this one's be weird because. Some noodles are going to be more cooked than the others. Oh. Also, got to clean up this mess over here because, like I said, you decide to be a dick. About half the box I showed you should be fine. What? Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. I just cleaned up here. Clean this. Like an asshole. This is why you can't have nice things. So I can't have clean things because every time I do, it just gets dirty. should have done is I should have added a bit of oil. But I didn't because I'm an idiot. So, oh well. It happens like lasagna. It's that type of situation. And now, we just stir, stir, stir. Actually tastes really good. I'm surprised. I'm legitimately surprised that, that actually tastes good. Damn. Go me. I think I have too much sauce for what I need. The amount of noodles I have here. Maybe. I mean, I always like a lot of sauce anyways. So. I can always make more noodles later, you know. Also, according to a lot of the uh, songs I listen to, yeah, it's the Illuminati. The Illuminati's caused the coronavirus, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's what's caused it. The Illuminati, yeah. I'm fucking with you, by the way. You know, trying to make light of a bad situation. Situation? Like, I haven't said that in a while. Alright, so. What we're going to do now is a bit of a tricky dick. I have my sauce here. Cool, it's nice. Nice, nice sauce here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it off the heat. Put this over here. Oh. 
with our meat here. And this is going to be stupid. But I'm going to do it anyways because I am stupid. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your sauce, add it right to your meat. Probably needed more meat for the sauce too. I'm just on a roll today, and I <clears throat> like how the sauce just envelops all of the meat that was there. Shit. I don't know. I think it's got mushrooms and stuff in it too, so it's not really all meat, so that's a good thing. I definitely should have made more noodles though. That's the thing. I'll make some more later. See, that, that's what's bad about like experimentations like this. You don't really know how it's going to turn out until you know, it turns out. Is it going to turn out good? I don't know. Could it turn out good? It could. Will it? <laughs> no one me. Fuck no. But now I can keep it warm. On the front burner here. Yeah? Ooh, you actually you can see some of the mushrooms and shit up there. But yeah, you can use any type of ragu you want. Um, but yeah. So, one thing that's always a good idea to do is to taste test your sauce. Also, I'm hungry and I feel like it. Get a bit of mushroom in there too. That's really good. God damn, I did good. This is basically a taco pasta. Or pasta taco. However you want to say it. But like I said, I actually like a lot of sauce in my noodles. I don't like, like, extra noodles. I like sauce. Now what you can do, now that you're literally waiting for that, you can turn this all the way down to basically off, just so it stays warm. Right? Now, I don't have no uh, lettuce or anything like that. I wish I did, that'd be amazing. That'd be a little, nah, actually, I thought about that. I actually did. I actually thought about, you know, add some shredded lettuce and make it like a taco. No, it wouldn't work. I mean, it might work, but it wouldn't work for what I'm trying to do here. By the way, ah! Noodle, come. Do not be a dick. Yep, that's what I figured. One side would be super soft, the other side wouldn't be. That's going to have half overdone, half un half overdone noodles, half done perfectly noodles. Oh well. By the way, nothing's been cut out. So literally, what you see is how long it's taken. I know. Some of y'all probably don't like that because, oh my god, it's taking too long. Well, shut the fuck up. Cooking takes a while. All these cooking shows, like, skipping minutes, hours even, of time. It's like, dude, no. I ain't making something that's going to take me five hours to fucking make. And it looked like it took you only, like, two Minutes. Like th fucking two, three minutes. Nah, dude. <laughs> nah. As usual, me being the weird, crazy person I have, or I am, 
I am actually going to be using two different pot holders for my noodles. Pick them up and put them in this trainer. sink. Put you here, put you here, and you off as well. Okay. Now the cooktops are off. Turned off. They're all turned off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of your sauce, just a bit of it, put it on the bottom. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I should not have done that. Hello. Oh, put a bit of your sauce on the bottom. <laughs> I'm okay. Alright. Take your noodles. Put your noodles in. Come on. There you go. Noodles are in. Like Hagrid. Should not have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Now, the reason I put the sauce on the bottom is so that the sauce actually coats the bottom noodles as well. Because now you put the rest of the sauce in. Get as much of that delicious sauce as you can out your pan. Nearly drop the damn thing a couple times. Bit early. All right. Actually, I think I had just the right amount of noodles for this. Put this in the sink so it doesn't get all over your stove. All right. Now. See, my main concern was having, like, not enough sauce when I was making it. Or when I was thinking about it, thinking about this idea. Was not having enough sauce. You know, because I figured I'd have enough noodles or I could make more noodles if I needed to. But not having enough sauce was my main worry. But it looks like I did perfect. Legitimately fucking perfect. Look at this. Nice coating on everything. Bit of extra. I'd say that's pretty perfect. I don't know about you, but I'd say that's pretty perfect. Okay, so now it's time for the part y'all been waiting for. Time for plating. How are we gonna plate this? I'm gonna use a gray plate today. We're gonna just Basically like you would spaghetti, get your biggest scoop you want. Oh man, that smells so good actually. <laughs> Put it down. Boop, boop, boop. Big scoop. Put it down. Just like that. Spaghetti. But, here's the difference. This is not your regular skeddy sauce. So, we're not gonna use Parmesan cheese. We're gonna use shredded cheese of your varying varieties that you like. My favorite is Kobe Jack. So I'm using Kobe Jack cheese on top of it. And with the heat, it's actually gonna melt and be so fucking good. By the way, I like a lot of cheese. I can't tell. I like a lot of cheese. 
the four cheese over here, the four cheese over there, 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 and there. Now you put that in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. Alright. So. Ooh. One more thing though. How do we eat this? Well, my brothers and sisters out there. Put that to the side. I'm going to show you. Take a piece of bread. Boop. Take some butter. Throw the side without the giant gaping hole. Tight. Right. You bread up your butter. Re you bread up your butter. You butter up your bread real good. Ooh, real nice. See, you see that? Just, that's the most ugliest butter up I've ever seen. <laughs> but, you know, it's meant to be eaten, not looked at. Yes, that goes for you, Instagram food, take pictures of people. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Now I have some straight up garlic salt, or garlic powder, which is good because, hey, you gotta have garlic bread. You gotta, you just gotta. Got the garlic powder, bit of salt to enhance the flavor of the garlic. It actually works, trust me. Now, take your freshly buttered bread, take your noodles with the cheese, you go up. Again, I always put too much noodle for the bread. By the way, yes, very high in carbs. But, you know what? Don't taste too bad. Mm -hmm. Hi. There you are. <laughs> Not as usual for this part. Yeah. I lost some cheese. No. Cheers. Cheese is stringy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is really fucking good, actually. Like, I'm legitimately surprised how good that is. I really had to clean that lens. God damn. It got popped on a few times. I'll clean it in a minute. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, please, I beg of you, don't forget to smile. Bye, guys. Oh. But please stay safe. Stay inside. Stay safe if you can. Or stay safe. Stay inside if you can. <laughs> and try to stay away from people. Right? Love y'all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys stay safe. Have a wonderful day. And as always, please, I beg you, don't forget to smile. Bye, guys.